how effective are you at selling your services effectively? But most importantly, do your clients really know what they're really buying? So if you're running into obstacles or excuses from potential customers of why they're not hiring you or buying your offers, this is gonna be a video for you. So in this video, I'm gonna break down how to sell your services effectively. That's gonna feel more like ease and less like sleazy selling where your clients will understand the value you provide and be bought in to know what exactly they're gonna experience when they invest in you. Escape the nine to five and create your path to freedom. Thank you so very much for joining me for yet another weekly video episode on Screw the Cubicle TV. If you are new here, I'm Lydia Lee. I'm a work reinvention strategist that specializes in helping service-based business owners, budding and existing ones, to design businesses that allows them to have the life that they truly want. Now, if you're new here as well, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell button to be notified every single time that I release a brand new video here every single week so that you can participate and contribute to the discussions here and get a hold of the free trainings that I do only on this channel. So first off the bat, I wanna apologize for some rooster noises that might be a little bit more than usual. <laughs> Most of you here uh, know that I have a home base in Bali, which I'm back in at the moment. Uh, they're a little bit more ferocious this time. It's Galungan week, which is uh, when basically it's the New Year's of uh, the Balinese holiday. Uh, and they're just out and about and in my yard <laughs> and I can't kick them out of the yard. And there's also some crazy neighborhood dogs that are playing with them. So you might hear doggies and you might hear roosters, but hopefully it just adds to the tropical ambience and it's just something I can't help, but um, let's hope it's not disruptive to the video. Uh, so if you're here today and interested to know how to sell your services effectively, very likely you are a service provider, right? You are a freelancer, a consultant, a coach, someone that really just offers their expertise, right? And uh, their knowledge and their skill sets to people. And you are the asset of the company. Uh, and I want to really talk about this topic today because I know that sales and marketing your services is really important to sustaining your business, right? For you to continue to earn well and to maintain your business and to feel confident that you've built a business that can help you to reach your financial goals and to reach the lifestyle freedom goals that you truly want with your business. So when we talk a little bit about sales, sometimes I, now I work with, by the way, 80% introverts. So the sales conversation is very much uh, <laughs> present in all our coaching calls about how to sell without the sleaze, how to utilize your personality in the selling process and how to kind of not do the trickery marketing that none of us, all of us are really tired of. And we want to just work with genuine people that care about their work. And I want you to present yourself and to showcase your business that way as well. I think you're going Going to attract better people right that aren't uh, falling for quick tricks but these kinds of people that will pay for higher value right will pay for more personalization in services are people that need to really be educated about what your services are really all about okay so I'm going to talk a lot about non sleazy sales techniques and something that's very doable no matter if you're an introvert or an extrovert or anything in between so the first thing I want to talk about sales is the concept of actually showing the process of what you do and just not the benefits. Now, I see this gap missing a lot for a lot of my clients who are coaches, consultants, and freelancers, right? Um, and they always talk about the dreamy outcomes first, right? We're taught to do that, paint the picture about where our clients want to go and how amazing that is, about how I'm the person to take you there. Uh, and maybe you even showcase tons of your cool pictures about how your life is like in order to help them. And you know, sometimes that can help, it can help, well, it doesn't help your customers feel confident that they can get there because it feels like such a far away world from where they're at. So one of the biggest part about sales is uh, in marketing, right? And showcasing your abilities to help people is to meet people where they're at. Where are they at right now? What are some of the struggles that keep them up at night that is not in that dreamy later on future them world? For sure, you can add some of that future me, future them kind of concept into your sales process, but I think a very important piece that helps people understand, I need you right now. 
I need you to help me feel that I'm ready to take that leap to hire someone like you, that I'm ready to take that leap at where I'm at, I'm poised and where I'm at to actually use your services, is to really show them where they're at and the process and journey and experience they're gonna have to take in order to reach that dreamy outcome results world, right? So show the process, not just the benefits. Now people buy a system, right? They buy not your hours that you're charging for, right? Go away from the hourly charging mentality to selling an experience, right? Selling a journey that you take clients on that helps them to hit uh, particular milestones or steps that gets them to the bigger result. People aren't aren't dumb, right? They know it's not a once one one day process. They know it's not an overnight success story. And you want people like that that are practical, logical, and will do the work, so that you're not having people that just sit in the wayside, hire you, and expect you to do all the work for them, right? Uh, part of what you probably want to work with are people that are collaborating with you, people that participate in the service you provide, so that you can really ensure that they're putting a lot of their genius into, right, whatever the outcome is that you might provide for them and make your job easier as well so that they can be part of that process with you, right? So people buy a system. They buy what it is, not only what you can get them to, but the things that you've created, right? The systems, the process, the structure, how you do what you do in order for them to get to the results faster and with ease. People pay for speed, efficiency, and they pay for ease and comfort. Like how painful is it gonna cause, like what kind of pain is it gonna cost me to get there? And if you can remove some of those pain points, right? You can make that easier for me because of a, of a system you've put together, right? Or an assessment you put together or a, a way of working with them that you've constructed and designed to make that process easy. That's what people value and buy as well. So those are the parts that you really want to talk about, whether it's in your sales pages, in your sales calls, or even, you know, on in your live, your next live stream, right? When you're promoting an offer, is stop talking about just the benefits and talk about what it is you really go through and dig into for people and where are those mini outcomes that are actually along the way that leads them to a much more feasible result that they can really say, yeah, I can see myself getting there. I'm not feeling threatened by how far away I am from the results. Okay, does that make sense? The second piece to sell your services effectively is that in order for you to have a process, right? If you don't have that, you're like thinking, oh God, what is my process? Um, you know, many clients come to me where they're like starting over every single time with every client and that's why it feels like their time isn't scalable. They're kind of having to create things always on the fly right? Um, every client has a very different problem all the time, right? That they, they, they have to solve every time they take on a client. And that doesn't help you as a solopreneur, right? Someone that you, that where you're pretty much the asset of the business right now is really hard to control that kind of business. If you don't have structure, right? You don't have boundaries about what it is that you do and don't do in your offers, right? You don't want to attract just every Joe Schmo out into the online world to work with you, you want to attract the ideal soulmate customers that need exactly what you've got starting at the stage that you can help them with. And they're really clear about what they come up with, right? That's not everything under the moon, but very specific step or process that helps them to lead them to their first batch of results. So you as a service provider need a framework. Now you can really look at it as your framework as things like concepts, a process, your philosophies, those milestones that we talk about. Like I said, it's not an overnight achievement. What you do for your clients takes several steps to complete. And if you don't know what those things are, and you don't really know what those core problems that you really solve are, this is your opportunity to take a pause from selling for a moment and actually really dig in to what is the experience you're actually designing and creating for your client so that every client that comes through the door goes through the same framework, right? Some things are nuanced, of course, how you explain certain things or deal with clients, but the main components, right, of your steps and your process is really repeatable, right? And it's really credible because you've done it with multiple people. You've tested that, that framework with multiple types of customers and you've given them and they all get results, right? And that might require some testing periods for this to happen, but this is super important to sell that process, to sell that experience is that you need to have a framework, right? As I said, people are buying an experience. They need to know what it is that they're really buying in order to put their credit card on the line or their cash in hand on the line. 
So if you're unfamiliar with what your process is, if you are charging hour by hour, if you are just starting over every single time with another client, very likely you're thinking small and you're not thinking bigger as a business owner of systems and structures that can make running your business a whole lot easier and a whole lot easier to market as well. Now, I do this a lot in my 90 day launch program where I actually mentor people for 90 days to launch a business, which includes this framework and this offer positioning that's going to be really effective for their niche. So they know exactly what they're selling, how they're selling it and how to really articulate these things properly to their clients so that they can have a buy in to your services. You can also watch a free training that I did uh, called Fuzzy Idea to a Meaningful Business Plan that will cover what you actually need in a framework. So if you're wanting a bit of training first, right, uh, to get started, I'm going to give you a link underneath this video, as well as a card that might appear uh, right on top of this video somewhere that will give you a link straight to the training page and you can register and watch that. It's about an hour long, but it's full of like the four essential steps to launch a meaningful business. And even if you've launched it already, very likely you might want to go through these steps again to know that where you might have been unclear. And that's probably why you've suffered in the marketing phase, right? Of your business. The third thing of selling your services effectively with ease and clarity is to really think about this concept of giving what your customers want, but showing them what they need, right? So what that means is that very likely you might be creating content or your sales pages or whatever it is that you do to draw in customers to your business, whatever you're doing right now. Maybe it's the workshops you do, maybe it's the live streams you put on, maybe it's the IGTV Instagram videos that you're posting every week, whatever is your mechanism for a sales funnel to you right now. Okay. I want you to think about like topics that people Google and research. And even though you're like, that's not the main problem, they don't know what they don't know. So how you want to draw them in is not to give them too advanced of information that they don't think that applies to them, but meeting them where they're need, where, where they are is actually solving some of the FAQs that they have currently at the stage they're in. Okay. Which might sound very beginner stuff, or it might sound like something even just so simple to you, but it may not be simple to other people. Now that doesn't mean that you, you know, simplify your knowledge. If you have depth, right? You have a rich database of knowledge and information and expertise, you can absolutely showcase that. But in order to get them through the first gateway of even, you know, applying to watch a training or following your Facebook page to watch your live stream or come on a YouTube channel and learn from you, you've got to first figure out what problems haunt them at night and then show them what really can solve that problem right? And focus on that at, as the, at the delivery piece. So education is really important to showcase your expertise. Like people think about that sales starts at the sales call, right? When people come and actually book a call with you to maybe inquire about your services or they email you, right? Like, yes, that is part of the sales process, but that's almost at the very end of the conversion, right? Like engine of sales where you are getting leads at the moment. That's the part where things are a lot, a lot sort of wider funnel, right? Of like, randos or deeply interested people that need to be converted through education in order to be even clicking on that button to email you or to inquire about your services. So teach your concepts. Once you get your framework clear, there will be concepts and philosophies and steps that you can teach in very small breakdowns. Like what I do here on my channel is really coming from my own framework of helping people go from employee to entrepreneur and launching these meaningful businesses. These are all concepts that are already hidden in there that I share right in a level that I can share even for free at this channel. And it helps people get interested in my expertise and to trust me. Trust is so important in, in selling your services. Don't wait until people call you because then you could be waiting forever. You want to be giving away your expertise and showcasing your credibility early on in the lead generation activities, like your blog writing, like your live streams, like your articles, whatever it is that you do in order to prove your expertise to people who don't know what they're buying just yet. So you want to think of marketing as just a conversation. What conversations do I want to start? What mistakes are people making that I want to do an FAQ video about, right? What are some of the issues that I want to bring to the forefront? So people will be less, less um, overcomplicating their process or thinking about what they think they have to fix when actually it's this simpler thing that they should be focusing on, 
right? Where can you really help people summarize and do things easily and more effectively through some of your free stuff you're already doing already in whatever platform that you're in. So selling can also be a concept of teaching, teaching what you know, right? Because in order to sell, as I said, you have to build trust. So what's your best way of influence? What's been your best way of teaching? Now for me, it's verbal and video because that's sort of where I feel most comfortable. It's where I can articulate myself more clearly. It's also where I think that people kind of see me differently than maybe other people that could be just writing articles. They hear my voice. They feel the, the tenacity sometimes in my energy in the videos, right? They feel how much I really want to help. And that can sometimes make the difference in how they might pick me as their mentor and guide versus someone else who could be writing, you know, an article and they have no time to read it or they can't feel like how this person could really care for them. So sell through teaching. How can you teach your methods? How can you teach your steps? How can you break down one little piece of your framework and your concepts in order to give some clarity to someone in a very inaugural problem they're experiencing? So they're much more easier and interested to convert into a paying customer to get the full shebang, to get the full experience of more solutions tailored to their needs, right? But we got to give them something to trust. So, I hope that inspired you to really <clears throat> think about selling as an, uh, an education, selling as teaching what you know, and, teach, and marketing as a conversation, rather than making it complicated to you of techie funnels or anything that you think you need to put together when actually all you have to do is really share what you already know and share it often and more consistently. So I would love to hear from you. What of these selling efficiently concepts and tips I've given today resonated with you? What's one that you wanna try in your business today to actually be able to make sales and marketing easier for you as a business owner? Uh, and share with us under the comments below. I'm sure lots of people would love to hear what you're going through uh, and very likely you're not the only one, but any questions that you have about selling effectively, I would love to help and I would love to respond to you. I read every single one of these comments. So. Thank you for joining me today. And as usual, I'd love to hear um, feedback of what maybe a topic of what we talked about today uh, sparked something, another question for you. And I always look at these questions because they guide me to create the next video for you that could be beneficial for your journey and to help you feel confident as a business owner. So share that with me as well. And one of maybe one of your topics and questions could actually be the next video. Thank you so very much for joining me. And again, if you felt this was a beneficial video for you, don't forget to share it with a friend, share it with your social channels for someone else who might need to hear this message. And if you are ready to work with a mentor to help get the help that you need to actually launch your business better, or if you haven't even launched yet, you know, you want to know the right steps to have structure, to know exactly what you're doing and launch within 90 days, check out my free workshop, <clears throat> idea to a fuzzy idea to a meaningful business plan. And in that training, you'll be able to learn more about my concepts, about what it takes to launch a meaningful business and an opportunity to jump on a complimentary discovery call with me to see how I can support you in launching your business efficiently as well. Thanks so much for joining me and see you again next week.